Hey guys, Nick O'Neill here at the World Kite Museum in Long Beach, Washington, and I wanted to share with you something that I think is pretty cool about kites, and that's that kites are something that exists kind of around the world. There's a lot of cultures and societies that have a long history with kites, and that means that I can pretty much go anywhere, fly a kite, and even if I don't speak the same language as the person standing next to me, they get it. I think that's pretty awesome. Well, a lot of people around the world kind of grow up with kites in a very specific style, and that's kite fighting. So that's using a kite to knock another kite out of the air, or to tip it, or to cut the line of the kite, and yeah, that is kite fighting. And it's fun, and it's engaging, it's awesome, and there are millions and millions of people that know how to kite fight. I wanted to share with you a handful of the fighter kites that we have here at the World Kite Museum. And these are just a small example of the hundreds of different kinds of fighter kites that are out there. So since these are museum pieces, boop, 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 let me put on my white gloves so I can handle these. Uh, first up, I have two fighter kites from Nepal. Ooh, let's see, I might have to step back a little bit. One of these is glued together and one of these is painted on. And these are traditional fighter kites from Nepal. It's a two stick design. We're looking at the back here. It's a little bit of paper on it. And yeah, uh, these are patangs out of Nepal. They come in various shapes, colors, sizes, patterns, all of that. Nearby, I have two patangs from India. So these are also fighter kites. These are glued together patterns and also a two stick design. We have two sticks and tissue paper. These are very delicate, but they fly amazingly well. Yeah, they're fantastic. All right, in the same kind of geographic area, we have this next kite and this next kite I'm gonna keep inside of its covering because we just don't see a lot of these coming this way. Uh, this particular kite was gifted to the World Kite Museum in 1996. Um, and while it is not a representation of all types of kites from the area, it's still beautiful and we love it. This is a fighter kite from Afghanistan. So it's a little bit bigger, but it is still a two stick kite and this is paper. It's been painted on top of there. And I'm sorry for the glare, but of course that's the protective coating. You know, we, we don't want to see these fall apart anymore. So, all right. Last up, and before I finish, I got to say that there are tons of other kinds of fighter kites around the world. I just wanted to showcase a handful of them in this really quick video. So next up, I have Pipas from Brazil. So we went all the way around the world to Brazil. We went from India, Afghanistan, Nepal, and to Brazil. I think that's pretty awesome. So you look at it, and it is a three-stick kite. We're gonna look at the back of the kite here. We have this long spine, and then we have two spreaders there. But this is also tissue paper that's glued together. Various designs and all that. And yeah, they all do the same thing. They fly a little bit different, but uh, the point is, knock your buddy out of the sky. All right, so that was quick, and I gotta go. I just wanted to share a handful of fighter kites with you, so go out and have some fun.